This animation illustrates the journey of water from ingestion through absorption in the digestive tract and transport via the bloodstream. Water enters through the mouth and flows down the esophagus into the stomach through smooth muscular contractions called peristalsis. A small amount of water is absorbed directly through the stomach lining, but most of it continues into the small intestine. The small intestine absorbs the majority of water using villi and microvilli, which increase the surface area for rapid absorption. The large intestine absorbs the remaining water to maintain hydration and converts undigested food into solid waste. Absorbed water enters tiny capillaries and becomes part of the bloodstream, mixing with plasma and circulating throughout the body. Through the circulatory system, water travels to every organ and tissue, supporting essential physiological processes. Water enters cells by osmosis, maintaining internal balance, transporting nutrients, and supporting cellular reactions. Inside cells, water participates in metabolic reactions, such as hydrolysis, helping break down food molecules to release energy. Water regulates body temperature through sweating, where heat leaves the body as sweat evaporates from the skin's surface. The kidneys filter excess water and waste from the bloodstream using tiny filtration units called nephrons. During urine formation, the kidneys filter water, reabsorb what the body needs, and send excess water and waste to the bladder. Every breath releases a small amount of water vapor from the lungs, contributing to daily fluid loss. The skin continuously releases small amounts of water through evaporation, even when a person is not actively sweating. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Medical Intelligence.